Well, this summer, the Hazel Park Raceway will host one of the state's biggest classic car shows and sales as well. It's the first one happening this weekend. I'm joined now by Seth Lampe, who's with the Oakland County Business Association, right? Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for yes, being indeed. here this morning to talk about this. Yeah. So this is called the Michigan Car Show, but yep. it's more than just cars. And the biggest sale, Michigan. Really? So when yep. we talk about sale and a car show, I think people think, okay, you're selling like hubcaps and hoods and stuff like that? And kitchen sinks <laughs> okay. and airplanes. Ah, and, fantastic. And Barbie doll clothes. Um, people are learning that if you put something on Craigslist, yeah. you might have some pretty unsavory people show up at your house. So we've had a couple of people murdered in Michigan that were trying to sell things on sure. Craigslist. Okay. So we tried to think about a safer way to do this. Okay. And what we came up with is a huge, huge sale. We're in a huge piece of property. The Hazel Park Racetrack has got 112 acres, room for 10,000 cars, 100,000 people. This first sale, we probably won't get that many, but we hope to grow. Right. Because there are places around the country that show us that hundreds of thousands of people do show up for yeah. these. So what they do is they fill the car full of stuff that they'd like to sell yeah. and it yeah. literally is stuff like the kitchen sink, it could be Barbie doll clothes as you mentioned, yeah. but these are out Any, of cars, right? Anything that you'd sell in a garage sale, it'll fit in your car, bring your car, you pay for the space mm -hmm. and we'll give you the space next to it, open your trunk and enjoy. Okay. The crowd that will bring to you to buy that stuff. I bet some of the cars are for sale too, though, aren't they? Yes and no. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes and no. Uh, the cars are, might have a for sale sign on them, but we really do discourage actually selling a car on the property because do you know for sure that the guy owns that car? Right. So, so when there's, there's I think one of, the, issues. one of the concerns with uh, Craigslist is the transaction. So when it comes to this transaction here and these sales going mm -hmm. on, is this cash? Is this check? Is this what's the best way? Well, yeah, I think every vendor is going to have a different approach to what he wants to be paid in, uh -huh. cash or check or credit card. But these vendors are all registered in advance. We have already checked them out. They, uh, the, there's not going to be stolen merchandise sold here because the guy's already put up his name and his identification and he's going to get caught. So these are legitimate, uh, they are legitimate brokers, people. if you yeah. will. So you yes, should are. feel safe in the, the things that you're buying. You're supposed to. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Oakland County Business Association thought this would be a good place to do this and help kind of bridge that gap between like a Craigslist or whatever. So here's some yes. information that's happening yes. uh, July 12th yes. the, and mm -hmm. August 16th and September 13th. So you have a trend going on here. We have a trend going. We have a contract with Hazel Park for several more years as well. So we assume this is going to grow. But in, in addition to this huge sale, we're also expecting to see a tremendous turnout of classic cars. Uh -huh. well, fantastic. We're going to have uh, more information on our website at WXYZ.com because we've just run out of time. Oh. Seth, thank you so much. All right. We'll be right back. Stay thank with you. us. Good luck with your event this week.